Okay, here's our tape measure in the sand. Six inch increments marked. Okay, here comes the gigantic tsunami waves. Oh look, horrors, it's actually making the boat move a little bit. Barking at the water. What have we got? Same, huh? A little less. Yeah. Is that thing actually moving a little bit? There we go. Okay. Something like that? Same. Yeah, 30. There we go. So it kind of got the, uh, the 30 inch one. Okay, now when they cut away just a little bit, I think. Yeah, I tried. Yeah, he uh, yeah, was kind of unsuccessful at cutting away. Okay, we're on camera. That's about the same. Yeah. Okay, now he threw it toward us. Let's see how horrifying this becomes. So it looks like throwing the wave toward us actually makes it makes it least. Okay, so our conclusion here is throwing the wave toward us actually makes it less. Okay, and here we are plowing by. Okay, where'd we end up here? I don't know. Very disruptive one. It's still only. You know. Still only, but that's pretty rough on the boats. Yeah. Okay, here we are respectfully plowing by at a nice plowing speed.
Yeah, same. Oh, same, yeah. Well, that one, pretty disruptive on the boat. Yeah, he may not be able to get off plane enough going upstream to actually be a, uh, a no wake zone. Okay, here I'll get back a little farther. You guys can flip him off again. Okay. You get a sustained flip off here. Sustained? Sustained, yeah. So the results of our experiment show that the only really effective way to reduce your wake is to come completely off plane with the boat approximately level as in this photo. Your wake can be reduced a little bit if you throw your wake away from boats parked on the beach. Uh, interestingly, if you throw your wake toward the boats, this also reduces the wake. Uh, this is possibly because while carving the corner, your boat is lifted slightly in the water so it's not quite as, uh, as deep. So it, it naturally drafts a little less and the waves may be a little lower whether you throw the wake away or toward the boats. A particularly counterproductive way to reduce your wake is to uh, come partially off plane and plow. We refer to this as the respectful plow because people think, well, they need to come off plane, but the current is too high for them to make any forward progress without completely coming off plane. So they're still kind of just kind of plowing along, being respectful and make things actually a lot worse. So generally, if you can't come completely off plane, then you ought to just blast on by and maybe carve a few corners to uh, reduce your draft. This message brought to you by Sambo and Honky, and now by Cracker and Boy. Cracker, cracker.